What is going on guys, it is Fatal Reaper Day, bringing you another video on the HP Pavilion gaming laptop. Before we continue guys, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. What you are seeing here is right now we are playing 7 Days to Die. So I do have them on medium settings, I did do an ultra settings, and I was going to do a video on that, but it happened to crash. The game crashed 3 times. Now I know what you're thinking, oh no, this is a game the HP Pavilion gaming laptop can't handle, or you know, maybe it's hitting, hitting its uh, peak. However, let me just clarify this and give you a few disclaimers. This game, one, it takes long to load, so I had to skip that part for you guys because the loading screen took almost three or four minutes solid. My main PC, which is about a, um, it's a 2070 Super, it's about a $2,000 gaming setup and all with the monitors and everything, and it still crashes on this game. Seven Days to Die is known for crashing, and we did have a little bit of a pause, as you can see right there, a few times here and there. But the game is, it's its going to crash like that. I mean, I know that sounds uh, devastating, probably. It's still a fun game to play, never, you know, nevertheless. And I do highly still recommend it. It is a very fun survival horror game, especially if you got friends. You can all play them. But do, do be cautious of the crashes. It's going to crash. So, don't let that discourage you, though. Again, it crashes on my main PC. I get about maybe 100 FPS on it on my main t PC, and I still crash. We were playing about a year ago when I had this PC and the PC setup I had before and it crashed literally seven times and we had to keep joining before it did. So that ga this game is kind of buggy on itself. I don't want to talk down upon it because it's still a great game. But if they could fi ever fix that development in it, um, I think it would be an enormously amazing game. I would definitely... I, I, it would go toe-to-toe -to -toe in my mind with Minecraft is how I would view it. I obviously am a big Minecraft fan, but... This Seven Days to Die is a very, very fun game. It's a survival horror zombie game where you can get, you know, uh, guns and stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, and it's just a fun survival game. Uh, we did get about 50, 60 FPS here and there soon um, with uh, medium settings. I do recommend playing on medium settings. If you put it on ultra, you are probably going to crash. I crashed about twice trying to do ultra. It did play it, and I was able to get stable gameplay, but again, it crashed. Now, high settings was in the middle. I didn't really crash with high settings, but I did hear uh, get a few glitches where it wanted to crash. Again, that being said, my main PC has crashed on this game numerous times, and the laptop actually, after putting on medium, se medium settings, held up for like a straight hour and never crashed. That being said, that's pretty that's pretty in uh, incredible to me, especially for the laptop, being able to handle this kind of game that has is frequently known for its crashes and stuff anyways, for me anyways. Leave me some comments down below what you guys think. I uh, don't know how, you know, if this is a common thing or this is just for me and my friends. We all we all had it crash on us uh, constantly. But that being said, guys, it still handled very well. And this gameplay was solid af with after the few little um, pauses and everything after I kind of got going. There was really no issues with it and it played solidly. I played it again for like an hour or two with no crashes after changing the settings and had no issues. So, again, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know now in the comments below what you want to see later. Um, we're going to be bringing you more and more videos, and we'll be doing some Let's Plays here soon on maybe some horror games like this. Uh, we'll be doing some Modern Warfare here. i got a few Modern Warfare ideas of Search and Destroy games I played and stuff like that. Tons of ideas coming, guys. Just be sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.